uh, we had uh, 147 submissions to this uh, ICC out of which the program committee has picked 79 papers spanning both theory and, and applications and that works out to around 53 percent acceptance rate we have an all-star lineup of plenary speakers yesterday there were uh, two tutorials by MathWorks and there's they're also going to be uh, one industrial plenary each by uh, our gold sponsors MathWorks and uh, GE MathWorks and GE have both been uh, supporting ICC right from the beginning and we are really grateful for that support and hope that uh, you know, it is going to continue in the coming years. Uh, we have also received, uh, IEEE Control Systems Society are also technical co-sponsors for this and they also acquired the proce proceedings which means the proceedings are going to appear on IEEE Explore. Uh, one of the main motivations uh, for having this conference year after year is actually to give Indian students an opportunity to meet and interact and attend talks by some of the leading researchers in India as well as across the world. Uh, so to that to that end, we have been um, uh, utilizing funds generously donated by the CSS outreach uh, program to support uh, students with both registration and travel uh, fund funding. And this year we are supporting about 70 students in this manner. So uh, finally, once again, I welcome you to enjoy the program enjoy the campus and uh, the city and its vicinity uh, in in the coming two days thank you very much thank you dr Bhatt. i would now like to request professor pravin kumar boda to say a few words Participants of ICC 2017, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all on behalf of IIT Guwahati to this prestigious conference. I, I also feel privileged to be among you. Uh, IIT Guwahati is one of the premier institutes of uh, India and uh, we have 11 academic departments and four academic centers nearly 6000 students out of them uh, about more than 50 percent is postgraduate that means mtech and phd and uh, uh, as you have as uh, uh, professor bhat has told uh, so iit guwahati this campus is uh, very uh, beautiful and it is uh, like uh, uh, on bank of Brahmaputra among hills so many lakes are inside and in addition to that it is a uh, means lot of flora and fauna are there some are rare and uh, as you have seen that uh, some migratory birds these birds come only in the winter season and uh, throughout the year a lot of birds and then wild animals like jackals, etc., rabbits, they will be roaming around you. And uh, uh, of course, control is a very elegant subject. I was a student uh, of electrical engineering both in uh, undergraduate and masters, so that way I know the beauty of uh, classical control theory and modern theories and then of course intelligent and smart systems then digital hardware and corresponding softwares have added new dimension to control system i hope that this gathering will discuss some of the new findings in the area and particularly our research students our means uh, whole india i am meaning will be benefited uh, from the uh, interaction with the experts in the area. I hope that you will have, an, have a wonderful stay in this campus and particularly this season is the best for visiting Assam and, uh, and surroundings. And if you have any problem, please contact us through because I am a part of the authority. So you can contact us through the volunteers and we will be glad to help you out. Thank you.
Thank you, Professor Bora. I now request Professor Chitraloka Mahanto to say a few words. Respected Professor Bora, Professor Bhatta, and the distinguished guests, participants who are coming from different parts of India and also some abroad. A very warm welcome and morning to all the participants from the department on behalf of the Department of Electronics and Electrical Engineering. I welcome you all to this third Indian Control Conference. First of all, I am thankful to be privileged to be bestowed this opportunity to hold this prestigious conference. The Electronics and Electrical Engineering Department, which came into existence in 1995, when it was beginning with the name of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Later on, it converted its name to Electronics and Electrical Engineering in 2011 to encompass almost all major disciplines of electrical engineering. In our department, we have five major disciplines of masters and research, namely communication, signal processing, power and control, RF and photonics, and VLSI. We have <coughs> two disciplines offering BTEC degrees, which are electronics and electrical engineering and electronics and communication engineering. And we have also MTech plus PhD program, which was very recently, last year it was started. Almost around 1,000 students we are having in the department, including BTEC and MTech and MTech plus PhD and only PhDs. So it's a growing department. We have around 40 faculties. And the control, this conference is one major uh, conference which we are holding for the first time. So we are, that is why we are all very excited to hold this conference from the department, although many other disciplines, so many conferences were held very successfully in the recent past. For control community, this is the first conference we are going to hold. So we were a little nervous initially, but with all the support of all of you and our local uh, team, we till now we are <clears throat> going ahead with confidence and I hope the rest of the program, which starts from today onwards, the major part of the program will also will be held successfully. And as other speakers have already <coughs> told about the uh, local flora and fauna and beauty of the campus, we are gifted by this nature's bounty. And I hope all of you will be exploring this campus as well as off campus and try to uh, get the best out of the uh, conference, not only in terms of academics, but also the, the surroundings. A line of exciting papers and plenary speakers are there, uh, they are which are going to contribute a lot to the control community for its advancement, I'm sure. All of you will be heavily benefited, and the research scholars which are, who are participating, they will be going back with <coughs> a very good treasure of knowledge from this conference, I'm very sure about it. So, let me at the end, <coughs> thank you all of you to come to this part of the country. For you, many of you, I think this is the first visit and I hope you will carry back with you a good treasure of memories and we long to come again. And as far the conference academics uh, is concerned, all the, all the sessions will be very, very uh, good in the sense that we have a variety of disciplines are being covered as I see from the different sessions which are going to start at 10.30 today. And also a very distinguished plenary speakers will be sharing their knowledge with us, which are starting just now after this program. So I hope all will be benefited very, very uh, well from this conference. And if you have any problem, please don't hesitate to contact me or my team and for any local uh, problems which you, if you face, and we will try our best to <coughs> solve it. So at the end, I again wish you all a very happy new year and a very happy and a uh, good stay in IIT Guwahati. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mahanta. Uh, let me add that it is an opportune time to renew contacts and discuss problems of mutual interest. Uh, I thank you all.
from the organizing committee and IIT Guwahati. With this, I conclude the inauguration ceremony. Thank you.